Hello, everybody. It's your boy Unpack here, and welcome to uh, annual type video that I'm gonna be doing. Like, I'm gonna be doing this video every year, I think. That's if I had the time. So, anyway, as you may know, the Kids Choice words are coming up, and I myself usually check into the Kids Choice words. Like, I I watch it like every year just to. Uh, See who wins and who doesn't, who, I don't know, mostly in it for the winners of favorite cartoon, to be honest, <laughs> and for our stuff like slime again, where, where the slubs get slimed on, but their iconic green slime, <laughs> yeah, that's, that never gets old, I mean, that, that's, that stuff's been around since Nickelodeon first launched back in 1979, so... Anyway, what am I doing this year? Or what am I what am I be doing every time we Kids Choice Awards come out? Like I'm gonna be doing these videos where I vote for who I I am where I vote for who wins the where I vote for the Kids Choice Awards nominees. So yeah, what well, and and just remember this is just my opinion and if you and. And I'm entitled to it, so please feel, feel if you like, if you just so happen to vote for another thing, like, uh, if you just happen to vote for something else, like, something I haven't, been, I haven't voted on this video, feel free to comment about down below, but, and please respect my opinion on some of these, because, yeah, I do have different opinions on various, various choices on the, um, Various nominees on the Kids' Choice Awards, so... Yeah. Anyway... Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't done the, um... I would Remember I'm unscripted, so... And this is all... Raw footage, because I've... So... Yeah. Which is the reason why I'm stumbling about. So, anyway... On to... Our first nominee... On to our first... Top, uh, what were they calling? On to our first talk. Our nominees for favorite kids show, and they are: Are You Afraid of the Dark? Raven's Home, High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, Danger Force, That Girl Lele, and The Babysitters Club. Ah, uh, now, yeah, I haven't seen any of these shows, and I frankly have no interest in them. So. I don't know what the pack here. It's good considering that I've never watched any of these shows. Well, I have heard of Suck like, View Lake. Um, I've heard, I've heard of every one of these except for the Babysitter's Club that I've honestly never heard of. So, well, to make bad. So, I have, I have no idea what to pick here, but I think if I were to pick one of them. Out of the bunch, I would think it to be either Raver's Home, Are You Free of the Dark, or High School Musical, The Musical, The Series. Because, yeah. And for Raven's Home, I um, I could probably pick out the, the most because um, that I heard it's a continuation of the original series from 2003 called That's So Raven. So, and That's So Raven, I remember watching on Disney Channel when I was a kid. So, yeah. The show about a psychic teen. Yeah. I pro Yeah, I remember watching that show as a kid. One of the few shows on Disney Channel I remember watching back in the 2000s. So, well, even though I've never seen the set, the continuation, that's, all, that's Raven's Home. So, I might as well pick it. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of choices to pick here. So, anyway, now we're on to family f favorite family TV show. iCarly, Cobra Kai, Young Sheldon, Marvel Studios is WandaVision, Marvel Studios is Loki, or The Flash. Alright. And of all these, I've seen some up select episodes of Young Sheldon, one, and seen every episode of WandaVision. And I've heard it seems like a couple of Loki. Uh, and a couple of clips of The Flash, I think. 
if I remember correctly, but and like once again, this is another topic where I'm it's hard to choose from because I've never seen them a few episodes or so. But but to be frank, I have binged through every episode of WandaVision before, so and I'm thinking about choosing that one because well. Uh, I've been sure all the episodes. Sorry, I'm chilling. I'm picking one division. <laughs> anyway, family reality show, Lego Masters, America's Got Talent, The Masked Singer, Wipeout, Kids Baking Championship, and American Idol. Huh. You know, I've heard about every single one of these except for Kids Baking Championship, which I barely heard about. Although, if I were to pick one, I would go with Wipeout. Because, yeah, that show, it's, that show I've heard about for a long, long time. Ever since about, that show was nostalgic for me. Because I grew up watching that show back in um, 2008. When it, when, it first, when it initially aired on ABC. During its original run. And, and the version they're talking about here. The version they're nominated here is um, the revival from that came out, I think, a couple of years ago. Or... T- Last year, which is on TBS, where that where the where the original show was airing reruns on, so yeah, so now basically TBS is home to that show Wipeout. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Wipeout because I remember the big red balls and all the slaps, all the slapstick in this reality show where the Consistence keep falling off the platforms and landed in the water. <laughs> uh, those were pretty hilarious times. At least they weren't in any great pain or anything. I mean, those those platforms are real, are really like um rubbery or plastic or r- rubbery. I think at least they're soft or so. I mean, I mean, at least they don't show great pain or anything, which is good. Because otherwise, if they made a show where, if they made a reality show where everyone's in pain, then uh, it'd probably be canceled by, uh, by the end of season one or so. Yeah, ABC with this, whoever, whatever network will, that air the show will probably fucking cancel it, out of, out of sympathy. Yeah, wipeout. You've been chosen. All right, now we're on to my favorite pick. My favorite topic of this whole award show. Favorite cartoon. Considering then, uh, yes, I am an animation geek. I, that's, uh, that leads me here to, but, yep. That's not, considering I am a cartoon geek after all, that would lead me to, yeah, I, this is the reason why I had to come to vote for this, for the KCAs. So, anyway, our nominees are SpongeBob SquarePants, of course. Teen Titans Go, Looney Tunes Cartoons, The Loud House, Jurassic World, Camp Crit... Cri- having, having a hard time pronouncing that word. Criticious, and the Smurfs. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with either Spongebob or Looney Tunes Cartoons here. Yeah, I'm gonna tie between Spongebob and Looney Tunes here because while Spongebob is doing... Fairly, and during the um, newer seasons, like, well, they only aired a select few episodes from season 12 and 13 last year, where it's not really a lot of episodes, it's just, uh, yeah, well, they they did fine with it, but although they had, they had a few flukes here and there, like Pat the Dog and the Hankering, like I mentioned, um, in prior streams and videos. I mean, although the hankering did air in 2019, so I probably wouldn't include that. I mean, there are a few episodes where it's okay and, like, or a few decent episodes, but... Although... Although, there are plenty of stupid ones, like Pat the Dog and Something Narwhal, this way comes. I'll probably have to talk about that one later, because... Damn, I have a lot to say it. I mean, I should probably make a review talking about Something Narwhal, this way comes, because... That episode's pretty dumb. And I, pro- I didn't like that one very much. Because 
it's nothing that it's just, no no and no it's not because of the camp coral shit far from it it's because it's because of the premise of the episode anyway i'll get to why soon anyway on to looney tunes cartoons yeah and i'm having a hard time because if i were if i were to pick looney tunes cartoons that'll be abandoning my favorite cartoon spongebob i mean looney tunes cartoons have sped out really really good animation and really good Really good humor. And it's nice to see some... It's nice to see that one of the... One of the shows from... It's nice to see Looney Tunes on this list for the first time on here. Because, um... I mean, generally... I'm not aware to say, but... Also, it's such a pretty weird that Looney Tunes will be on this list because they're not... Those are short-form series. It's a short-form series because... It's a series of, like, four-minute shorts or so. Although, if you put, um, what if, from what I've seen, if you put, like, um, a couple four to six minute shorts and throw in some intervals in between, you get an 11, you get an, you get an 11 minute episode all together. So, although Legion's cartoons has some flukes with animation wise. Well, there's there's one there's a few animation studios that like um there's I think there's one animation studio from Looney Tunes cartoons that uh, it's animated and like looks like it's animated in Flash and I think it's Yao's animation or I could be wrong but that um their animation's kind of uh eh, I guess because I mean. Yeah, it looks like it's been animated in Flash. That's also a problem with um, Animaniacs reboot because they y'all's animations also animated some segments on the reboot as well. So, and they're both cartoons from Warner Brothers Animation, no less. So, so if I had to pick either between SpongeBob, oh, fucking T Titans Go, Looney Tunes. Loud House, Jurassic World Show, which I'm having trouble saying the name of, and the Smurfs, I would have to go with... I have a hard time here. Ah, uh, sorry, Spongebob. Apparently, I, for the first time in my life, voting for the Kids' Choice Awards, I can't go with you, I can't go with you right now. But someone's got to be, someone's got to be voted somehow, so, but apparently, you are... You didn't do, but well as good as Legion's cartoon, so I'm going with Legion's cartoons for the some um, nomination for favorite cartoon this year. Maybe next year if you improve, then I'll probably vote for you, SpongeBob. But just for right now, I can't. Anyway, to move along faster, we're to, to say it, the cut this video short because I don't want loose storage or anything. I don't want this video to be cut short or anything due to storage issues. We're going to move along faster. Raven, Simone, Olivia Rodrigo, Sophia Wiley, that girl Lele, Haven Flores, and Leah Baker. If if I'm pronouncing the Haven's name incorrectly, let me know. If I'm pronouncing any of these names incorrectly, let me know. Because I've never heard of a few of them, except for Olivia Rodrigo or... A couple choices here. I mean, I'm having trouble. I've heard of Raven before, but I'm having trouble pronouncing her name. So anyway, if I were to pick one, I would pick Olivia Rodrigo because cause you know, she's a singer herself, and I heard her song Good For You and Brutal. Uh, I'll have to vote for her. Good for you, you look happy and healthy, baby, if you ever care to ask. Anyway, favorite male TV star, kids. All right, I think I voted for t favorite female TV star for kids before. I forgot to read that nomination title, topic title. Anyway, Cooper Barnes, Joshua Bassett, Luca Lohan, Raphael Alejandro, Young Dylan. Boo, you suck. And Bryce Geisar. Once again, if I'm having trouble pronouncing these guys' names, let me know. I, uh, 
really wish I could correct that, but so concerned I want to move along faster. I'm gonna have to pick something random. I'll have to pick a random person. Since I'm, I obviously don't want to vote for that fucker, young Dylan, because he's so fucking annoying. I'll have to pick Joshua Bassett for a win. Considering that I've never seen any episode of High School Musical, the musical, the series, except for a few clips. Ah. Uh, nope. Okay, I guess. I'll have to pick, pick that Joshua fellow. Anyway, female TV star, family, Miranda Cosgrove, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olsen, Haley Steinfeld, Peyton List. Yara Shahidi, Mary Mooser. Again, if I'm having trouble, let me know. Anyway, yeah, I'm voting for Elizabeth Olsen, considering that she's played Wanda in the what, Scarlet Witch in the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe, and she does a pretty good job at it. Male TV star family. Tom Hiddleston, Jerry Trainer, Nathan Cress. Ian Amitage, again, if I'm having trouble with names, let me know. Ralph Machio, and Jeremy Rayner. Alright, I'm going to pick Ian for the win, because he does a pretty good job of Sheldon on Young Sheldon. Got it add for three seconds. Anyway, favorite video game, Brookhaven, Minecraft, Dressed in 2022, and Mario Party Superstars. I am, again, I don't have I've never played any of these games except for Minecraft and Just Dance. Although for not not this not this version of Just Dance, because I mean, yeah, nothing. I, although I've owned a few Just Dance games, they're not the one from this year, unfortunately. Anyway, and Mario Party Superstar is interesting, albeit I never played it before. Anyway, I'm gonna. And I've never heard of Brookhaven, so I'm going with Minecraft for the win. Favorite movie! Alright! Spider-Man No Way Home, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Tom and Jerry the Movie, Saints Jam and New York City, Cinderella, and Disney's Jungle Cruise. Anyway, uh, I'm torn between Spider-Man and Space Jam because, while well, Space Jam's alright, Spider-Man No Way Home is better. Yeah. Yeah, though I enjoyed the animation bit, animated bits and two D animated bits in Space Jam. I uh, think Spider Man No Way Home is better, considering what a lot of people said about that movie. So, although I've ever seen to like that movie, like the movie more than I do. So, and Spider Man had. I'm not saying I hate the movie though. I I like the movie and. And uh, sorry to say this is Steve Space Jam, but Spider Man may be better. Fun for that him instead. Anyway, favorite movie actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Tom Holland, Ryan Reynolds, LeBron James, John Cena, and Vin Diesel. All great picks to be honest. Oh my god, it's so fucking hard to choose considering I like these guys. Anyway I'm ha I'm torn between those these picks anyway. Uh well, anyway, sorry to pick one. I mean, all these guys do really good jobs in these movies, especially um, especially Tom Holland and um, Spider Man No Way Home. And this makes me wonder why um, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in the, are nominees because cause they're not they themselves appear in the um, No Way Home. I think it's to I think it's to be it's because um Sony wants to keep their appearance this is a secret because um just like they did in the um, promotional stuff for the movie because they're well here's something outside who is it never mind oh hey Jess I'm making a video right now that's all right I'm bringing stuff in sorry oh okay ah sorry about that guys I was um. No. Huh. Anyway, well, let's continue. Yeah, folks, we're gonna continue this. Oh, yeah. Streamers. I'm making a video still. It's not. It's not a video stream. Never mind. Anyway, flaws are sure. I'm going with Tom Holland. Yeah, 
It makes me wonder by um Yeah, and like I said, I'm pretty sure Toby and Andrew aren't nominated because Sony wants to keep their appearances a secret to avoid spoilers. Anyway, we got for favorite movie actress we got Zendaya, Emma Stone, Scott Johansson, Camila Cabello, Angelina Jolie, Lee, and Emily Bunt. All great voice actresses. Though if I were the big one, I would go with MJ's actress Zendaya from No Way Home. Cause she does a really good job with the um as a role spent as Peter Parker's wife uh, girlfriend. So. All right, streamers, I'm back. I'm just not a stream. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, next choice: favorite animated movie. Anyway, we got Encanto, Luca, Sing Two, Boss Baby Two, Sponge on the Run, and Paw Patrol the movie. Oh, I do enjoy Sponge on the Run. Just a teensy bit. I mean, well, I, sp I try Sponge on the Run. Well, anyway, Encanto was real good. Luca was okay. Scene two, I've never seen, but there are some reviews about it. If they're not. It's not a stream, like I said. Never seen Boss Baby, but I heard. I think I may have sucked. And Paw Patrol movie I've never seen, but I'm pretty sure it might be cheesy because the movie's rated G. So, yeah. And sorry, Sponge. Sorry, SpongeBob. I'm not choosing you again because, considering how, considering the mixed reviews that your movie has gotten. Yeah, Sponge the Run does has some mixed reviews, like I mentioned prior. Some people hated it, and some people enjoyed it a little. Anyway, I'm going to go with Encanto for the win, because you know why. The song about not talking about you-know-who. I'm not going to sing it here. We don't talk about... Why did I do that? Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I apologize for that. Anyway, favorite voice from an anime movie, Reese Witherspoon, Aquafina, Keanu Reeves, Scarlett Johansson, Charlize Theron, and Tom Kenny. Anyway, if I had to pick one, or if I had to pick one, I'd go with, I don't know, Tom Kenny did a really good, Tom Kenny has always done a good job in cartoons, especially with Spongebob, and Keanu Reeves. Hmm, I don't know. Why the hell are you nominated here despite your... despite appearing in live-action segments? I mean, it says the nominee is voice, a pair of voice from an animated movies, and you appear in, in live-action form as Sage in this movie, and, and you, and your voices, and your physical appearance is not the only thing shown in this movie. All right. Oh, and your voice yeah. is not the only thing shown in this movie. So. Hello, it's not a stream for the last time. Special appearance. I stop that, everybody. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to go with Tom Kenny. Sorry, Keanu. Considering that there's been a fluke in this nominations. Because. You know, because considering that. You, not only has your voice appeared in this Spongebob movie. But your entire physical appearance as well. I don't know why that you just wanted to put botched it up because I mean Ken reappears in live action in that movie and 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 the Omni's called favorite voice from an animated movie, so never mind. Favorite female artist favorite female artist Taylor Swift, Ariane Grande, Lady Gaga, Adele, Billy Eilish, and Cardi B. All right. I don't know how well they performed this last year, but if I were to pick one, I would go with Taylor Swift or Lady Gaga. All right, I'm gonna go with Taylor. Yeah, of right on pick. Considering all these cars were good, so anyway, favorite male artist: Bruno Mars, Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran, The Weeknd, Drake, and Shawn Mendes. I like the weekend a bunch, so I'll pick him. Sorry, Bieber. Not picking you, boy. <laughs> Fair music group Maroon 5, Joe's Brothers, Black Eyed Peas, Florida Georgia Line, BDS, and Migos. Oh my god. Well, why? 
Although General Spiders were pretty nostalgic back then, considering that they broke up, considering that they formed, considering that they, they, they themselves were a band long before they broke up and reunited. <laughs> so, I'm glad they reunited the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> so, that's a pretty cool comeback. I mean, these guys were nostalgic. I mean, they, they were around the mid to late 2000s. So, I remember them pretty well. Same with Maroon 5 and Black Eyed Peas. I love I'm going with one with one, I'm going with Maroon 5 because they have some pretty good songs. Favorite song, Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran, All Too Well Taylor's Version by Taylor Swift, Easy On Me, Adele, Take My Breath, The Weeknd, Up, Cardi B, or Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. You know, with The Weeknd song, Take My Breath, no questions there, although I've never heard of that, I think I've heard it once before. <laughs> Favorite music collaboration, Today by... The Kid Leroy, Leroy by Justin Bieber. Again, if I'm pronouncing these wrong, let me know. Beautiful Mistake by Rune 5 featuring Mega The Stallion. Rumors, Lizzo featuring Cardi B. Leaf Before You Love Me, Marshmallow and Joe's Brothers. Best Friends, Sweetie featuring Doja Cat. Why the hell is that song in there despite these, um, why are all these songs on there despite their, um, lyrics being explicit? This is a kids, this is a kids award show, right? And save your tears, weekend and Ariana Grande. Well, best friends a good song, and save your tears is a good song, despite initially being recorded with only the weekend in it. Well, I'm gonna go with save your tears because uh, that song's a bop. Same with best friend, but I'm not picking that one. Favorite brick editors. Olivia Rodrigo, Walker Hayes, Saweetie, uh, Chloe, Glass Animals, and Jack Harlow. Yeah, I'm going to love Olivia Rodrigo. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Once again, I already um, picked her and favorite actress. Favorite female actress from... Favorite female TV actress. Anyway, favorite album? Fearless, Taylor's version. Taylor Swift, Justice, Justin Bieber, 30, Adele, Red, Taylor's Version, Taylor Swift, Happier Than Ever, Billy Eilish, and Certified Lover Boy, Drake. Alright, I don't know which one to pick here, but not hearing any of these albums, although I'm going with Taylor Swift, because why not? Favorite social music star, Joseph Siwa, Blue, Addison Ray, That Girl Lele, You Suck. Dixie D'Amelio, Oliver Tree, and Johnny Orlando. Don't know which one to pick, but I'll go with Johnny Orlando because his last name sounds like Orlando, Florida, one of my favorite places in the entirety of the United States of America. Anyway, favorite male creator, Ryan's World, <sighs> Mr. Beast, Ninja, Spencer X, Austin Creed, and Unspeakable. Ugh. I have no idea who to pick here since I never... Watching any of these guys on YouTube. So, if I had to pick one out of random, I'm gonna pick, if I had to pick one out randomly, I'd go with Spencer X because his name sounds nice. I like his name. And a female, favorite female creator Addison Ray, Marion of Sings, Charlie D'Amelio, Lexi Rivera, Rivera. Again, if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, let me know. Kids Diana Show and Emma Chamberlain. Ugh. Well, I, again, I've never seen any of these videos on YouTube or TikTok before. Then again, if I were to pick one, I'd go with Charles DeMille because their signature drinks on Dunkin' are really good. Anyway, female sports, female sports star Serena Williams. Simon Bites, I mean Simone Bites, Biles, whatever. Naomi Osaka, Kenneth Parker, Sasha Banks, and Chloe Kim. Again, if I'm, if I'm naming these guys wrong, guys and gals wrong, let me know. Although, I've seen, I'm going to go with Serena Williams because she's a nice tennis, she's, she, ugh, she's a really good tennis player. 
from what I've heard. According to the, according to our commercials on DirecTV, according to our DirecTV commercials, and my favorite male sports star, LeBron James, the king himself, Tom Brady, Stephen Curry, Patrick Mahomes too, Patrick Mahomes the second, whatever, Sean White, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know the drill already. Although, if I were to pick one between, I'm obviously going to pick either LeBron or Tom because, yeah. Although Tom betrayed us, New Englanders, for for the Tampa Buccaneers and later retired. We'll miss you, Tom. Um, I'm, I'm torn between LeBron and Tom. Oh, I'll still love Tom, no less. Because he retired, because of all the news about him, because he retired, I'm going to go with Tom. Sorry, LeBron. Love you, but someone's got to one person's got to win somehow. And my favorite global music star, Odell, Camilo, Tonus, Thames, BDS, Rosalia, and Olivia Rodrigo. Odell's a pretty beautiful singer, so I... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to pick her, because I... I was going to pick Olivia. Holy crap, we're done voting? Oh, that, that went by fast. Alright, so, so thanks for voting. Catch the show on April 9th to see all the winners. Check out the Cool Stuff page. Hey, man, can you on badge? Oops. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go... Well, I'm going to go... Um, where is it? Well, I'm going to go download these badges now. And thank you guys so much for watching this particular video. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more content. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Anyway, you know the drill. And if you want and check out the Get Your Choice Awards April 9th on Nickelodeon, non-sponsored. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.